guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you can guess from the title, we will be swatching all the new Huda Mini palettes. This was like the one thing I really, really wanted during the VIB Rouge sale. And I was so anxious that this stuff was gonna sell out, but I was like, no, I will not pay full price for these eyeshadow palettes. So I hung on and I was able to get all four. I think they're all still in stock, which I'm really, really gonna give Huda two thumbs up for not making palettes in such small quantities that they would like sell out right away because honestly there's nothing more frustrating for a makeup connoisseur than that. I do wish her foundations would come back in stock though because I would really like to pick up my shade because the one I bought was in the wrong color so it's quite a bit too light for me but anyway we'll talk about that some other time. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I usually upload every other day. So you do get quite a bit of content from me, so I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Also, you guys, I do have an active giveaway right now. It's in the description box. I'm giving away a ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. So if you guys want to enter to win that palette, just check out that video. I'm going to stop blabbering now. I'm going to zoom you guys in closer so we can swatch these little palettes. So you guys remember when you used to watch Coffee Break with Danny and she would zoom you in and she'd be like, welcome to my face. <laughs> I feel like I need to say that because you guys are so close. Anyway, these are the little palettes. They are tiny guys. A lot of people are like, oh my God, they're so small. It's like, okay, like, are we actually surprised? Like, what were you thinking we were going to get for $27? I'm kidding. Honestly, these are really, really small to be very, very honest. But, I mean, I got the colored Rain Mini palettes and those are like $36, but those pans are full size. So I don't know much about these products right now because I just got them. I haven't like done anything with these, so I'm going to swatch them for you guys, but I will have a full review on my channel once I'm done testing them. So let's start with the Mob Obsessions. I honestly couldn't pick with these palettes, guys, so I literally got all of them. Um, these are swatching really well so far, like very just buttery, like really, really soft. So that is really exciting. So these are the first three shades. I don't think these have names, but that's okay. And there are the first three shades. Super pretty, super buttery. Feels good on my fingertips. I am so excited for these palettes. I like knew I wanted them the second I saw the teasers. I was like, oh yes, come to mama. So now I'm going to swatch the next row. Here they are. Okay, this one swatch a little bit patchy, but I think that's like a glitter. So it's like a glitter infused shade. So you might want to use like glitter glue with that particular one. And then the last three shades in this palette are matte. So let's go ahead and swatch those. I'm really liking her matte formula, especially from the Desert Dusk palette. So there is the Mauve Obsession palette swatched on my skin tone. Hope this gives you guys an idea of what these shades might look like on your skin tone. If we okay, so the next one I want to swatch is this guy. This is the Electric Obsession. I honestly could not say no to this. Like, look at these colors. They're so freaking vibrant. And kind of like a little twist for the holidays. You know, if you want to do something really fun and colorful... So there are the first three shades. That pink one didn't swatch the greatest. Let me try and build that up for you guys just so you have an idea of what the color will look like. I love putting like really bright pinks in my crease. It really opens up my eye for some reason. Okay, so these are the three shades in the middle row. Ooh, that blue just swatched really pretty. Ooh la la. I actually don't think I have a palette that has such vibrant like shades in it other than the electric palette and I honestly don't reach for the electric palette because it's like tucked away in my collection somewhere so I think these are so small and compact that I feel like I will reach for them oh my god look at that teal shade holy guacamole oh god that just swatched oh my do you guys see this? This is nuts. Okay, let me show you guys with the palette. 
And these have really cute mirrors. Like, they're such a perfect, like, on-the-go palette. Also, it looks like there's a 12-month shelf life, so it's going to last you a good amount of time. But how gorgeous is this color combo? Okay, so the next one we're going to swatch is going to be the Warm Brown Obsessions. Are you kidding me? This is so delicious. I could literally take a bite out of this palette. So the first three shades here are matte. Oh, God. So pretty. I'm going to swatch these on the inside of my arm here. So there are those shades right there. And then it's actually harder when you're zoomed in so close because it's like, how do I crank my hand into the screen for this shot? Okay, so the next three. This one actually only has one shimmer in it, and it's this gold shade, which is super beautiful. Oh, God, this is so pretty. Do you guys see that? This reminds me of, like, a smaller version of the Sephora Warm palette that they did. Like, the Sephora Pro palette. That's a warm, you know, collection of shadows. But this is, like, a baby version, because those are, like, huge, heavy palettes, and this is going to be, like... Easy peasy, put it in your purse. This is going to be a complete look in a palette, which I also really appreciate. I think the only one you can do a complete look with would be the really bright colored one. This one, it's a little bit hard to see, but there it is. Gives you a good idea. And this is the palette. So take a good look at these swatches, guys. But here, here is what it looks like. Like I said, this black is cracked, so that's. But it's a beautiful like matte black, probably one of the best blacks I've seen in a palette. So let me swatch. How opaque that one was. And so there are those shades. Okay, and then the next three are all shimmers. There's like a very chunky. Oh my god! Look at this. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, are you guys ready? Silver, boom. Bronze, boom. And then this gold. Ah! Stunning! I'm trying to like fit it all into this. Hopefully that gives you guys an idea. I love doing these videos for you guys. I'm sorry if they go out of focus. I'm trying my best. I could sit there and like do these beautiful like swatches off screen and use a brush and stuff, but that's really not my style. So these videos are just so you guys have an idea of what you're getting yourself into with these palettes. You know, I would obviously recommend you watch reviews. I just like to do these as soon as I get the palettes because obviously I'm not going to be able to review it after swatching it one time, you know? So keep that in mind. I just like to do swatch parties as soon as I get the palettes just because if you're on the fence about getting it and if you have my skin tone, it might give you an idea of what these might look like. So this is the Smoky Obsessions palette. I don't even like smoky colors that much, but like this silver, are you guys kidding me? And then this is the Electric Obsession, this teal shade, like, oh my god. This is the Mauve Obsessions, and then we have the Warm Obsessions, which I kind of did a janky job over here. So anyway, I hope you guys, I hope this gives you an idea, this video, on these palettes. Okay guys, that is everything for my little swatch video. You're zoomed out now, so let me just give you a few more looks at the looks like I'm trying to do karate on the, anyway so far like first impressions of swatching I haven't put these on my eyes yet they're beautiful I love them so so much and yeah this is gonna be so much fun for me to play with so if you guys are on the hunt for an awesome within budget gift for a makeup lover I would totally suggest one of these palettes or if you want to get them all, why not? I feel like you'll be their favorite person. Otherwise, if you are a beauty junkie like me, why not pick some of these up for yourself? 
I'm gonna go. Let me know if you guys picked up any of these palettes. Let me know which ones. Let me know if you're planning on picking up these palettes. Let me know if you're not planning on picking up these palettes and why. I would be so, so interested to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Also, quick reminder again, I do have a giveaway going on right now. It ends at the end of the month, so don't forget to go ahead and enter that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.